Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. We've got a viewer writing in. Heading of the email is camera. This is from Ryan. He's looking to choose between two ultra zooms, the Canon SX60 and the Nikon B700. He says, hi there. I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking at either the Canon SX60 or the Nikon B700. I most likely won't be using RAW. I may try my hand at doing star trails and other interesting shots. It's more of a hobby and only really use the camera on holidays and sometimes at game reserves once a year. What do you suggest? Regards, Ryan. Well, Ryan, right off the bat, I think I would go with the B700. One of the biggest things is that does 4K. You may not be interested in video, but if you do get interested in video, you're going to appreciate having the 4K, and the SX60 is going to look old uh, by comparison, especially down the road a bit in a year or two when it's all the other cameras have 4K and you have a camera that doesn't. It's going to affect your resale value too. But the biggest thing for 4K, especially in an ultra zoom, is even more important for the ability to extract photos because uh, sometimes, especially with an ultra zoom and slower lenses on it, uh, you can pull stuff out of videos or uh, stills out of the video, images, still images, uh, you know, a frame grab, uh, an export as a JPEG, and you can get, um, you get a lot more ability to take, I mean, that's a, a still a fairly large, it's like an 8 megapixel file if you're pulling from a 4K video. And because you shut the video, if, if you set it up with photos in mind and you have your settings as such for photos, not on the video side, um, you're able to pull frames out of it that you may not have got just trying to have single focused each shot with a camera like an ultra zoom. In other words, if you pre-focus, you get it set up, you start shooting the video, there's a lot of stuff to choose from. There's a lot of frames to pull from in that video. Whereas if you were just trying to nail shot after shot, it might be a lot harder. Uh, I, I just think the 4K video is a great option for pulling out stills, even if you're not really into video. But I think a lot of people start to get into video. It gets addictive. So that's a big reason for me to go to the SB700, or the B700, sorry. And the other thing, uh, it's, it's not a huge thing, but there is a resolution gain, 20 megapixels versus 16 megapixels. So not insignificant, not particularly significant, but still a resolution gain. Um, so between the two cameras, I tend to like the B700 better too in the hands and whatnot. Nothing wrong with the SX60, but there's, a, to me, in my way of thinking, a big negative that it doesn't have the 4K. So that's what I would do. Let me throw it back to our viewers. What would you guys do? B700 from Nikon or SX60 from Canon? Which way would you go and why? Let us know in the comments below. Always great to get your feedback, your opinions. Let's help Ryan out in making his decision. And stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.